Number four, gravity is just air pressure. And that's the same with the air. We are here on the ground, quite low to the ground, and the air pressure on us is quite extensive. It's quite a force that we all know. And um, maybe the higher up you get, uh, the less pressure the actual air is putting on you. Same principle as this. You don't need to have the earth being a certain mass and creating a force which pulls you down to the ground because the pressure of the air at this level is already pushing us down. This one is really funny because air pressure is caused by gravity. Flat earthers who say this are simultaneously accepting gravity and denying it. What do they think causes air pressure? Air pressure is nothing more than the force of gravity pulling down on air molecules. This is very plain to see, as the air pressure decreases with altitude. Air molecules rest on each other, all the way up to the edge of the atmosphere. The pressure is greatest at the surface because of all the air above pushing down on the air below. The amount of air above gets less and less as you ascend. This effect is so consistent that an altimeter gauges altitude simply by measuring air pressure. Again, this only works because of the consistent downward force on everything. The same goes for water. Water pressure increases with depth. As the deeper you go, the more water there is above weighing down. Rather than a substitute for gravity, air pressure is another conclusive proof of gravity.